I just was looking at your leg as I was sitting here watching you speak. Your leg? leg, yes, it looks like a real leg. It doesn't even, I, like I was sitting here going, because mine, you see the metal part. In yours, you can't see that. Yeah. I like right. that. Before I worked at Bremer Prosthetics, I had protective covers that would protect my leg in the event that if my kids would fall down, you know, when they hit these components, they're hard, they damage clothes. Yeah. I, I didn't wear anything that looked like a leg because well, the companies that I worked before I owned this was an owner. I worked for other people like you do. And it just, honestly, it looked so bad that it was, and now you see a lot of people that don't, they choose not to get them because if they look that bad, why bother? You know, it's something that insur yeah. insurance companies don't pay well for it. But I mean, it's, when I started with the Bremer Prosthetics team, they always felt like making a leg look like your leg. If that, you know, it's not important to everyone, but if it is, then it's important the, to us. Then it I, should be done the right way yeah. and done, you know, with the same attention to detail as the fit of your prosthesis is done. I mean, what I had heard for 20, well, not quite 20 years, 15 years before I started working at Bremer Prosthetics, you know, and because you got to keep in mind, I was a patient first. That's not important. Function's the only important. And I remember one time I got really mad at my prosthetist because I was working at the company. I was like, you know, last I checked on performance, like cur Corvettes, they perform really well too. And man, do they look cool. Why can't, <laughs> why shouldn't these, considering that they're taking the places of our legs? I mean, if there's pride in engineering, you make something that functions well and you make it look as nice as it can look too.